भयं द्वितिया द्वितिया भी निवेश तस्या ईशाद पत ईशाद अपितस्य विपर्जय स्मृति ही तन्मायाया अतो बुध आभजेत्यं भक्तोई कई शंग गुरुदेव बतात्मा therefore it is advised that our fearfulness uh, how I shall live what I shall eat where I shall live where I, I I'll have my shelter we are always perplexed with all this fearfulness why because we have forgotten that there is one who is giving me all protection Uh, we are we have become so foolish that that the lower animals than the human beings they have no economic problem that freely living and in the morning uh, uh, they do not care what they shall eat but there is it is no animal no bird is dying of starvation have you seen any animal or any Bird has died out of starvation, and who is providing? They have no economic problem. The only this foolish, advanced, civilized man, under the name of so-called misusing the intelligence which was given to him for realization of God, misusing for sense gratification, and therefore they are troubled. That is the whole problem. The world's problem is due to this forgetfulness. Ishāda patte isha viparjaya smiti. They have forgotten the protection of Krishna, God. They think that by this adjustment we shall be able to protect. Nonsense. It is not possible. Can you protect yourself from death? No. Then what is your protection? So this is the formula. Man ditya bhi nivesha tasya. Ditya means that uh, 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 secondary existence beyond God, which is in Bible it says Satan and God. So this satanic mentality has made them under the control of material. Satanic mentality. What is the satanic mentality? That I want to be God. Always thinking falsely, I am God. I am independent. I can do anything, everything. Uh, uh, um, whatever I survey, I am the Lord of whatever I survey. These foolish things are gone. So this is very nicely explained, and deference is given by Lord Chaitanya that our whole difficulty, problem, anxiety, uh, a similar. Verses in Bhagavat, another play. Sada samadvigna dhyam asad graha. Asad graha. Asad means non-permanent which we shall not exist due to our absorption in that side. Asad. This matter. This is just like this body. It will not exist. So giving too much stress on the bodily concept of life. Uh, they are sada samudhivigna dhiya. They are always full of anxiety. This is the cause. The foolish people, they do not know. Still they are very much proud of education. Here is the cause. The because we have given too much stress on this false conception of life, therefore we are always full of anxiety. And as soon as I understand that I am pure spirit, soul, part and parcel of Krishna, the Supreme Lord. He is giving me all protection, and my duty is to love and serve Him, then I am free. At once I am free. The simple formula. Uh, uh, how He will give me? Uh, uh, he is not poor man. Uh, he is what He was. Your Human, human uh, being, uh, they are very few. If you compare with other animals, other living entities, oh, you are m- most insignificant number. Your number is very little. 
especially for the civilized. Uh, if you search out a hole in your room, you'll find uh, millions of ants coming out. Uh, even in your room you'll find. You'll be overvoted. So who is supplying their necessities? Ekabhunam Vidudati Kaman. In the Vedic language we can understand that one singular living entity. God is also a living entity, he is not wise. Ah, he is just like a person like you and me, but he is so powerful. Ah, one single number he is providing. So many innumerable living entities. Ah, so our business is, and the Bhagavad Gita you will find, tisam satatu juktanam jugakchimam bahamyaham. I supply whatever he needs, who is constantly engaged in Krishna consciousness, I supply. I take the goods personally and deliver them. Why is it the answer? Uh, uh, Krishna will take hundred pounds of flowers, hundred pounds of rice and deliver you. Just be Krishna conscious. Oh, in ordinary home you don't find more than five pounds. You see in our stock, all hundred pounds. So these are facts. These are not stories. But foolish people, they have no knowledge of Krishna consciousness. Be in Krishna consciousness, all your material necessities is there, but don't be extravagant. Take only whatever you need to maintain your body and soul together and execute this, make this primary. And other things secondary, Krishna is supplied. But if you want to make your sense gratification, if you want to accept more than what you need, then you will be in trouble. That is maya. Oh, so Krishna has provided for everyone, everything. Uh, there is no need of being anxious. Uh, but that does not mean that I shall feel, oh, I shall do everything and anything. No. Uh, so, <clears throat> so this is Krishna consciousness. Now Lord Chaitanya said, sadhu shastra kripa yadi krishna mukhaya sai jiv nistare Maya Sahare Charoy. Now, how to become Krishna conscious? A person who is fully Krishna conscious, he has no problem. Now, how to become Krishna conscious? The Lord Chaitanya says, Sadhu Shastra Kripa. One can become Krishna conscious by the mercy of saintly devotees and by the mercy of the scriptures. These two things have been recommended. Not that fools as they are thinking, oh, I can, I can seek my son. I don't agree with the sastra. I don't agree with the spiritual master. I don't agree with uh, scriptures. I have got my independence opinion. He is fool number one, rascal number one. Uh, one who says like that will at once take him that he is fool, rascal, anything. You have to take shelter of sadhu, guru, and sastra. Sadhu means saintly persons, uh, those who have got all those qualities. Oh, what is that paper? Are you using that for paper which has been supplied to you? the qualification of devotees. What are those? Can you say any of you? What is that paper? Or not, not with you. It is in the book. Or my knowledge is in the book. No. You should learn. Everyone is missing. How you can become saintly person? 
those qualities, uh, twenty-six qualities, are called saintly person. Uh, devotee means to become fully qualified with all the noble qualities. Devotee does not mean a rascal at the same time a devotee. No. As soon as you become devotee, the test is that all those twenty-six qualities will develop. You have to test yourself out of the twenty-six qualities how much I have developed. If I am lacking, then you must know that you are not developed. This is the test. What are the qualities? Paul, you have got the copy? What are the qualities? Kind to everyone. Kind to everyone. Yes. Then go on. Does not quarrel with anyone. Yes. Fixed up in the absolute truth. Yes. Equal to everyone. Yes. Thoughtless. Faultless. Charitable. Mild. Clean. Simple. Benevolent. Completely attached to Krishna, no material hankering, meek, steady, self-controlled, does not eat more than required. Does not eat more than required. Yes. Sane, respectful, humble, grave, compassionate, friendly, poetic, expert. Poetry. Expert and silent. Uh, one who is too much talkative, that means he is lacking in devotion. Uh, he should simply talk about Krishna, nothing more. Uh, and when he, one is ac- actually absorbed in Krishna thought, he cannot talk nonsense. He has no time. Uh, he does not, does not waste time. So these are the qualities. He, he is called sadhu. Sadhu means these are the qualities. Of course, not that we may develop all these qualities immediately, but sadhu means this. Sadhu means and uh, what is called pious man. These are the qualities of pious man. Sadhu. And shastra. Shastra means the scripture. By study of scripture you can develop this quality. That is called scripture. That is authorized scripture. Just like you study some book and you develop some quality after reading that book. Similarly, when you actually have scripture, then you develop all these qualities. And guru, guru spiritual master means who teaches you all these things. So you have to make your progress at sadhu, sastra, guru, bhakti. You have to uh, corroborate whether Guru, what Guru is speaking, whether it is uh, there in the scripture. What scripture is speaking, whether that is in the character of Guru or in the sadhu, uh, saintly person and spiritual master. So you have to always make comparison with three things sadhu, shastra, Guru. Nobody can become a spiritual master who has no reference to the scriptures and these qualities. Nobody can be accepted as a qualified man he has not, if one has not developed his character through the scripture under the instruction of Guru. The Sadhu Shastra Guru. The sadhu here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says sadhu sastra, that sadhu includes guru also. Because a, a, a spiritual master, unless he is a sadhu, he cannot be a guru, cannot be a spiritual master. And the um, primary qualification of spiritual master that he is completely surrendered to Krishna, completely Krishna conscious person. Uh, these are the things. So Lord Chaitanya said, Sadhu Shastra Kripa Jadi Krishna Mukha. Now the Sadhu's qualification is merciful, friendly, 
तो मैं दिस साधु दे टेक द रिस्क ऑफ बिकमिंग फ्रेंडली एंड मार्शिफुल टू द फॉल एंड कंडीशन सोल्स एंड दे प्रीच ऑफ द मैसेज ऑफ गॉड देयर फॉर देयर मार्शिक इज रिक्वायर्ड they are merciful by nature by nature they are merciful one who is sadhu one who is devotee by nature he has developed that merciful quality friendly quality so their business is to uh, enlighten those who are in ignorance those who are fully absorbed in this material concept of life therefore they preach uh, and we have to take that mercy If we don't accept, suppose a man is fallen in the pit and he's trying to come out, and another man uh, drops a rope. Please catch it! I shall take you out of the pit. He does not catch it. Then how you can be taken out? So sadhu and shastra they are always ready to give you mercy, but you have to take it. If you don't accept it, then how you can be caught? recover uh, therefore uh, initiation means to accept uh, the mercy of this sadhu and spiritual master if you don't accept so there is no other no other way if you think oh if you cry that i am fallen in the pit oh uh, please uh, take me and when somebody uh, comes and to help you You say no, I will not catch it. Then remain there. Who will help you? So because I am a living entity, I try for so many things for my daily bread, and I don't try to catch the mercy of sadhu and sadhu. Just see my foolishness. I for getting a work, I flatter so many person. Uh, And put my submit my application, but for my deliverance from the uh, material uh, bondage, I don't care. No, I am not going to submit to anyone. I don't respond. You see how much foolishness there. Is. Just like a dog, for his bread he submit everyone, but for his spiritual emancipation, oh, he is not agreed to submit. Just see the police. Uh, for bread, which is already settled uh, by the nature, he uh, will submit to everyone. Uh, uh, just like dog goes from door to door and moves uh, its tail, uh, that will give me a bread. Give me a bread. Yes. So this application. <laughs> it's a dog is, uh, and the Bhagavat it is stated that the the Brahmin, a Chhatriya, if he is property seeking, uh, he may accept something mercantile, but don't be a dog. Uh, this modern civilization is teaching people to become dog. Go door to door and move your tail. Please give me bread. Because they have lost their self-confidence, they have lost their faith in God. So everyone is being taught to become dog, and somebody is controlling. Uh, and when there too much, I mean to say. Uh, Freti, uh, they propose another theory: communism. Oh. Let this capitalism move. No, this will not solve. Uh, this will create another uh, trouble. Uh, the solution is that you have become, you have to become Krishna conscious. Then all the problems of the world will be solved. Everyone has to become Krishna conscious. Then the problems, the all the problems that is facing us in this material world will be solved. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya said, "Sadhu Shastra Kipai Jadi Krishna Mukha." The saintly person 
and the representative of Krishna, they are always trying to distribute this mercy. So if somebody by his fortune uh, accepts this mercy, then he can become uh, aloof from this material trouble. So one has to accept sadhu uh, sadhu kripa. They are always merciful. But one has to accept that and become Krishna conscious. Sadhu Shastra Kripa is the Krishna Mukha. And as soon as he agrees to become Krishna conscious, then his path becomes clear. He'll get rid of this material clutches and this uh, all is full life, full of anxiety and problems. He'll be clear. But these things, sadhu sattva, saintly person and scripture, they have to be accepted. If you don't accept them, then there is no other way. Why there is no other way? Then the Jisha Gunavi is citing another again from Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita is the book of evidence. Lord Chaitanya is citing. Because it is Vedic. Just like in the law court, you have to cite a section from the law book, not from your concocted mind. No foolish man can argue in the law court because he has to refer in every step from the law books. The sadhu means that he has to give evidence from the scriptures. Not that I think, in my opinion, you can do this. Oh, he is not a sadhu. He is a fool. What is your opinion? You are a conditioned soul. Can you manufacture something? No. You cannot manufacture anything. You have to give reference from authorized scripture. So, Lord Chaitanya is giving uh, uh, evidence from Bhagavad Gita. Why you cannot yourself get out of these material classes? The reason is this. Dai Vidjisa, this material class is so powerful. You cannot get out of it. It's not possible. Dai Vidjisa, Gunami, Mamu Maya, Durataya, this material nature, which is my energy, Lord Krishna said, it is very strong, very strong. In the history, he will never find that anybody has overcome the laws of material nature by his own effort. No, it is not possible. Therefore, the modern scientific world who are trying to conquer over the laws of material nature by their teeny scientific uh, arrangement, they are all fools. It is not possible. Not possible. If you uh, try for something which is not possible, then you simply go on wasting your time. That is a different thing. Uh, but if you accept the scriptures, the truth, that is, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, this material nature, which is one of my energy, it is very difficult to get out of it. Uh, then you will be a sane man. Oh, then why I am trying foolishly in this way, that I can make adjustment in this material world for comfortable life? No, it is not possible. Then what is the remedy? Uh, the remedy is there. What is that? Mame maja prapadanti mahami taam karanti. As soon as one surrenders unto me, he becomes out of this class. This is process. So this information, we are holding this class from Bhagavad Gita, from Chaitanya Chaitanya scripture, just to, with reference to the Shastra scripture. And we are trying to follow. We are not creating anything. It is not a manufactured thing, concocted thing. It is standard, followed by great acharyas like Chaitanya. So we have to accept. 
That is the way. We have to become Krishna conscious and follow, as as the Shastra says, sometimes as we, the law book is up there, as he takes um, help of a lawyer, how to uh, utilize the law book. Similarly, you have to utilize the scriptures by accepting spiritual master who can guide you. Is a lawyer. These are the paths. If you don't accept, then go on suffering. If you accept, everything is there. That is the way of Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much.